I wrote The High Mountains of Portugal because I was trying to understand something. Uh, I wrote Self, for example, my first novel to understand uh, gender. I wrote uh, my first story, the cl a collection of short stories, to understand what stories are about. Uh, Life of Pi, I wrote to understand what faith was about. And in a sense, The High Mountains of Portugal is another attempt, another literary exploration of faith, all kinds of faith, in this particular case, uh, religious faith. In my personal life, I have chosen to have faith. I don't follow any particular religious denomination. I'm as happy in a Catholic church as a Protestant church, in a synagogue, in a mosque, in a Hindu temple. I find they're all, the comparison I say is they're all like wells, and they all reach for some groundwater there. I think fiction is so powerful um, for, for, for many, many reasons. First of all, it is the greatest way to understand something. Um, I have nothing against non-fiction, great histories, great biographies, but they are limited by the fact that they are tethered to factuality. And fiction can go beyond that while still remaining true. That's the great key to fiction. Despite the fact that it's not real, it doesn't mean that it's not true. What great fiction does is it increases your empathy because it makes you live someone else's life for the duration of that book. We're going where we cannot really go, but we're coming back a truth because we use our, our empathetic imagination.